Well, I'm, I'm an Episcopal priest. I've been ordained uh, almost 40 years uh, in a variety of uh, churches and contexts. And uh, never have I heard such a uh, concise and yet provocative and evocative uh, summary of not only the life of Jesus, but also the overall uh, context and all the mythologies and, and uh, archaeological uh, things that shape the Gospels as we have them today. Uh, and how the canon took shape and was formed. So I am profoundly grateful uh, for uh, having been here as you listen to this. Uh, I'm a spiritual director and uh, to that extent I can use this material about Jesus very specifically uh, in my own ministry as it moves forward. What fascinated me was his absolute mastery of the material. Uh, I've studied Jesus, uh, uh, the historical Jesus, in context and so forth for about the last 20 years. So I was quite familiar with the overall sweep of, of the scholarship, but I have never heard anyone who could kind of really kind of put it uh, together in such a creative uh, way and certainly uh, backed up with the concreteness of the archaeological discoveries and, and that sort of thing, as well as his um, very spontaneous, learned, quick um, way of, of uh, taking a lot of uh, very complex material and making it very accessible. Professor Charles Worth delivered the message in each lecture and each session with such eloquence that it was it was fantastic. It was just a joy to be a part. It was almost like a growing up as a child and, and listening to your first uh, uh, stories that your mom would read you out of your childhood books. So it was just a fascinating journey that the professor took us through in each session. Oh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody, anybody following the path of Christianity or following the path of Judaism. I think it would be a fabulous series. Um, there's a host of questions that the professor brings out that will keep you on a search for truth as you move through life. In the best tradition, Dr. Um, Jim Charlesworth has brought together the ability, his passion and his joy to tell the story. That's what I got. And for somebody like myself who is ignorant in so many ways of of any biblical knowledge, he managed to have, the, to convey the very esoteric thoughts in a way that even someone like myself, because he'd go over it two or three times, and because he knows all the languages, the Greek, the Aramaic, the Hebrew, um, he was able to translate. I thought that was one of the most striking things of all, the, the difference and what a word means in a translation. And, and that was, again and again, in every single lecture, he, he brought so much information to it that I just truly had never understood and maybe would never have understood just by reading the Bible on my own.